And we are hearing Jeffrey Basil admit he pushed an Air National Guardsman down a flight of stairs at a Buffalo bar. The former Buffalo bar manager pleaded guilty in court today to manslaughter and the death of that guardsman, Bill Sager. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Ranch live at State Supreme Court in Buffalo tonight with reaction. And what's next now? This is the case I've been covering Joanna and Keith since the very beginning. Now, after months of speculation about what would happen in this case, Jeffrey Basil has pleaded guilty to manslaughter. In his own words, guilty. Jeffrey Basil mumbled his confessions to the court, pleading guilty to manslaughter more than a year after he pushed Bill Sager down a flight of stairs inside Molly's pub. Did you intend to cause serious physical injury to Mr. Sager? Yes, Your Honor. And did you, by intending to cause serious physical injury to Mr. Sager, cause his death? Yes, Your Honor. This plea to manslaughter comes after Justice Penny Wolfgang vacated the murder conviction a jury reached in January. Through an exclusive interview with 7 Eyewitness News, it was revealed a juror had prior military experience, which was not revealed during jury selection and ruled crucial to this case. Wolfgang ruled last month the verdict could not stand, sparing Basil from a possible life in prison sentence. While the case could have been retried, this guilty plea guarantees Basil will spend between 15 and 21 years in a state facility. So we felt that this was our best option and it was clearly in his best interest. And now you have closure. Today's guilty plea may symbolize some closure for the Sager family who apparently agreed a deal was the right move to make. We consulted with uh, Mr. Sager's family. Um, what, what do you want? And that certainly weighed heavily in our decision to negotiate with the defendant. In front of the court, 37-year-old Basil signed a waiver, shackles shaking with each stroke of the pen, giving up his right to an appeal as part of this deal. Jeffrey Basil is due back in state Supreme Court next month for sentencing. Again, he faces 15 to 21 years behind bars. If he's sentenced to the maximum penalty in this case, he could be nearly 60 years old by the time he sees freedom once again. But will he actually get 15 to 21 years? I'm digging into that part of the story coming up new at 6. We're live downtown tonight at Ranch 7 Eyewitness News.